Yeah, it's been a dark and a sad day here in South L.A. at this Taco Bell marked by this makeshift memorial where candles and flowers remember Alejandro Garcia. The head turn is disbelief. Disbelief after hearing what happened over the weekend. A drive through customer shooting and killing 41-year-old Alejandro Garcia over a counterfeit $20 bill. Garcia was working the window at the South L.A. Taco Bell when bullets shattered the window. The whole time, Garcia's 19-year-old son watching in horror. But there's no excuse for that kind of violence. The violence troubling Michael McClellan. He showed up with his granddaughter for lunch. Didn't understand why the restaurant was closed and was upset when he found out, especially when he heard his son watched. He worked next to him. Uh -huh. He died in his son's arms. Oh, that's, but uh, that's, that's sad. That's sad. McClellan wasn't alone in his disgust. Food delivery man Franklin Reyes came by for a pickup. Oh, man, that sucks. I mean, poor guy just, you know, working to, you know, probably provide for his family, and, and this guy just comes in and does that. Yeah, I feel, it feels really bad, you know. Alejandro Garcia worked here just one day a week to make extra money. Saturday night was his one day a week. I'm just speechless right now, honestly. <laughs> That's Robert Leon. He's a neighbor of the restaurant. He was so upset by the shooting, he brought flowers. And Michael McClellan, who brought his granddaughter. You like violence, Marissa? No. He could only hug her, maybe thinking about Alejandro Garcia and how he died in his son's arms. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses. We'll put that on our website, foxla.com. Meanwhile, police are still looking for whoever was responsible for all of this. They just simply describe him as an African-American male. Marla, Coco, back to you.